winter morning in the time before the night in flames of death it turn to rain we ride towards the Hello everyone, and welcome to my first Innistrad draft, online anyway. Um, this will hopefully be going up on on spudlicious.com and hopefully on Degeneration... Uh, no, sorry, GenerationD20.com. So shout out to those two guys, so let's get stuff into this pack. Okay, let's have a look at what we've got here. Alright, we've got a bit of Tackling Counterpart, that's actually not a bad spell. Might actually be the pick here because there isn't really anything else you'd want to probably pick over it. Because there's no real draft that types to go into early that we're looking at, so I think we'll take the, the Keckling counterpart here. It's a pretty good card. Um, what we'll, might wheel out of this pack? We might get a, a Cultist back or maybe a Fortress Crab. I think the next picks people are probably going to take something like um, maybe the. Yeah, maybe even a spot the monstrous, but we'll take this Cacklin counter part. Alright, the next pack is interesting. Now there's a few good green cards here with the Mystics and the Proapon and the Boar. Um, we passed a few good white cards, so I'm not sure we should be taking these Abbey Griffins. There's no good black cards. We want to try it now that we've taken a blue card. We're not stuck in those colours, but. We want to probably play something in around the controlling matchup, so I think we'll continue to cut blue here and we'll just take the silent departure. There's no good black cards. We'll pass the green signal and the white signal, and yeah, there's not really much else in this pack, so we'll just take the silent departure. Sure. Alright, and then we get a pack with no blue cards in it, which is a bit. Annoying, but we do have a screeching back, so I'm pretty happy to see that. So that might mean we can go into the blue black archetype into the control matchup, uh, control mix, uh, the control archetype. I'll get this right in a minute. So there isn't really much else. We're still passing some blue, uh, some white, and some green cards. So hopefully, we might get some blue and black in the next pack. So no, we'll just take the screeching back and it's foil. We're not cooking it. Can't be a bad thing. Alright, so got a sulfur falls, which means we might be able to splash, uh, splash some red possibly because there really isn't much else in this pack. So like there's some good red cards which tell us red might be open, but we could maybe go into the red <laughs> the red blue or even black black red. Um, this card is interesting. It's not bad, but you want it in a pretty aggressive deck with lots of lots of trading going on with like typhoid rats. So you, you know you can get to turn six and there's just nothing in your graveyard and it just doesn't do anything. So I'm actually leaning towards maybe the sulfur falls, so we can splash. We might be able to splash like a brimstone volley or something like that because we're not really missing out on anything that great. Like you know maybe a scourge. So I think I'll take the sulfur falls. Alright, so oh, more good white cards keep coming around. This rebuke and which just leave us pretty good. Um, I don't think we're gonna get too many humans in what we're trying to do here. But uh, I think this it's easy pick that it's just straight. It shows blue's probably pretty open from the um, the right, so and we've cut it pretty hard, so hopefully we might get some blue back in pack two. So I think that's probably your best pick. Uh, yeah, still the red cards keep coming, but we'll take a stitch deck, hoping to pick up some scarb guys. And so you know, white is was definitely open, and red looks open, and blue looks open. So interesting. So we've obviously got a black and a green draft as well, right? Even though a couple of early uh, green cards, but I think we're in the right colour here. It's the blue. So. Easy to think twice here. There's nothing else in the pack for us, so we'll just move along. So, interesting pick here now. 
you can take a bump in the night to be aggressive, but we're not. But it's more an aggressive card, and we're not. It doesn't look like we're going to be an aggressive deck. So there isn't really much else here for us. We could take a wooden stake for the sideboard, but that's, that seems pretty average. I guess we could maybe splash Desperate Ravings with some draw cover. We did pick up a Sulfur Fall. So, um, yeah, there's really nothing else there. I think we'll just take Desperate Ravings. And maybe, maybe think about splashing it. Yeah, what do we got here? Okay, so, it's pretty late drizzled, no, drizzled outcast. Yes, it's drizzling on his head. He's a drizzled, drizzled outcast. Um, Curiosity is okay. Like if you can get it on a an invisible stalker or something, that's that's pretty decent. Um, but you know, it seems pretty average. So I think we'll just take a river outcast. And I, I think there's a green draft to our right, uh, to our left. So we might not get anything in pack two. But I think I think it's the best pick. All right, so there's some late, some very late green cards here. Spotty Dusk is fine. Orchard Spirit is fine. Minus is okay. Um, I guess we just take an Orchard Spirit. We don't really want to be blue green. That's a terrible archetype. Um, but you know, if we keep getting the green cards, I guess we have to. I think I think on a I think Orchard Spirit's just a little bit better than Spidery Grass, so we just grab that for now. Wow, a lot of white cards came back. Which is surprising. Alright, so I guess we just take Abby Griffin here. And we're just trying to figure out where we're going to be in pack two. Best of High Boar is also very good, but I think I'd rather be white. I'd rather be white blue than white green. Uh, than green blue. I think it's a little better. So we pick up another Griffin. And then we get past the mountain of green cards. Right. This guy is actually okay. What is this guy? Um, but yeah, not much to say. I think take a bunch of these for now. And pick up the King Catch. Mm, I think we'll take the Earth and Exorcism for the sideboard. Like I said, I think I'd rather be white blue than green blue. So, yeah, we're sort of all over the place here at the moment. We'll pick that up. Um, yeah, we can pretty much go into anything. We really don't want to be in the green. Because green blue is pretty bad. We could also jump blue altogether and just jump into white blue. And then we get open a pretty good pack. Lots of good cards in this. Splinter Fright is fine. Pretty good. Pilgrim is good. Obviously, Brimstone Volley is very good. And that's sort of like why we picked this card up. So we might be able to splash it. Um, Blazing Torch is also fine. Um, I think Brimstone Volley is probably a pretty easy pick here. We've got it on the splash if you need it. So, and yeah, there's not really much that's going to wheel out of this pack for us. I'm hoping some of these green cards go so we don't have to come into it. Rakti Share is also fine. I'd, I'd like, you know, the range assistance to wheel would be pretty cool, but I don't think that'll happen. But blue was open from that, that side, so we might have a, a blue draft of two to our left. So I think we'll just take the Brimstone Volley, put on the splash, so, and we'll just take that. So, oh, that's nice. So obviously, this guy to our right just slammed a rare, so it couldn't mean anything. So, but we're pretty happy to see this murder of crows. Means he's if he if he didn't take get a bomb rare, you know, he might have um he might not have he might have just taken the bomb rare and just left this for us. So that's really cool. Not much else in this pack. That's of any real note, like the Pilgrim also is pretty good. But, I think we just take Murder of Crows. It's a pretty good card. It's actually a very good card. It's a good finisher. Alright, we'll take that. He helps us with our stitch stake. Wow. Maybe the guy to, to our right wasn't. No, uh, to our left wasn't a uh, blue after all. So that's a pretty nice little pickup for us. Stim Dice is actually very good. I undervalued it in some live drafts and uh, paid for it, so pretty happy to take that. So there's still some pretty good green, green white cards in the pack. Doom Traveler is actually quite good. I'd like to wheel something like maybe Doom Traveler or maybe the 
of eligibility. Any of these white cards would be nice to, to wheel, actually. That would be really great if we could do that. So, but we'll take another fly. Alright, blue is definitely open from both sides, which is really good for us. Get another stitch tape. We'd really like to get some armored scarves. That would be really nice to, to help get these guys off the ground. I don't like actually taking stuff like this before you've got the um, enablers, but I'm not really missing out on much by taking them because you know, we've got we've got a if we can get some smaller guys and we've got some removal and we've got one removal to help get these guys. Actually we've got to make these things but never mind. Um alright so I think we just take the stitch strike and move on. Wow. Huh. Wow. Really good pack here. We've got Gallows Warden Claustrophobia, Armored Scarb, which we really want. Um, but you know, we've got. It's hard to say where we are at the moment. We're obviously in blue, so we're going to take a blue card. But um, we'll probably be splashing this Brimstone Boy for sure. Um, uh, it's hard to say whether Claustrophobia is better than an Armored Scarb. Uh, let's, let's have a think about this. What if, like, obviously, the Armored Scarb is good with our Stitch Drakes. We've got um, Desperate Rage we can flash back if we can kill it. Silent Departure as well. The Claustrophobia is really good removal. Um, and I think we lose it open, so we might be able to get them a little later. So it might wheel, but I doubt it. But, so I think I'm going to take Claustrophobia. Alright, so hmm, another interesting pack. We've got another Silent Departure. Sentry Deprivation, which I thought was bad, but after watching a couple of LSV drafts, he's. Um, converted me a little bit to it, but I think it's probably the lesser of the, the three blue cards. Lantern Spirit is quite good. Silent Departure is also obviously very good. Because we're, um, I think we're very we're going to be controlling here, so um, we're already at 10 creatures. So I think I'm going to take the Silent Departure. I think it's a little bit better than the Lantern Spirit. Okay. Alright, so we've got... wow. Got Geranius Assistant, Makeshift Mauler, and Heroism is also quite good. Alright, so we've got to figure out what we're doing here. I think... Um, I think the Geranius Assistant is going to be a little better than Makeshift Mauler at the moment. We actually have we have very few uh, low drops at the moment. We've got a lot of um, three drops and a couple of five drops. So. I think we want to we want to get to our high end a little quicker, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go this drone system, even though one might be on the wheel. I think that's the right pick for pack two. Alright, so not much happening here. I think it's an easy pick, Silent Departure. Post one is good, but yeah, we'll just keep taking Silent Departures. Okay, so we've got a pick up a Lake Fortress pack here, which is nice. It's gets into the four slot. Where's this? Excuse me, to get to our, our five drops a little quicker. Alright, let's grab a fourth step. Alright, so, field lights are fine. I've seen a lot of people playing Spectral Flight lately, which surprises me, but. But no, it's a blue card, so we'll take it. Alright, so. Alright, this is the Luke Fell Ring we did wheel, which is, which is fine. So, like I said, we were hoping to be in the white color, we could actually almost go mono blue here. Should be interesting, but I'll just grab the blue for right now. Okay, so grab the one in the car, so we'll go to four land. Four land up today. Memory's journey's fine. Might actually be floating those. Which is is okay in some decks. Alright, so we're mono blue, possibly white, possibly blue red. Um, but I don't think we're gonna be green. So let's just like some of these. I might just for now. Um, we still might play Crystal Adding, it's not playing this. I think I'm going to hide these green cards for now. Yeah, okay, we have a set of the Bloodline and a Test Subject. And a Grasp of Phantoms. Hmm, yeah, interesting. I'm going to think twice. So. And Travel Preparations. But I think we can... We can um, yeah, we won't be taking this, obviously. 
I think it's between grasshopper phantoms and test subject, and we've got three silent departures, so I think we've got the bounce aspect well set up. And this guy, if we're looking at, we're going to be very heavy blue, so I feel this guy is probably our best pick. He can, he's just quite the beating, you know, obviously beating 13, 13, and he's going to beat shit around. Excuse me, friend. Mm -hmm. I to swear there. Anyway. So, yeah, not much else in the pack for us. Lots of green cards, only the one white card. So, I'm going to pack this after. Just the subject. Alright, mm. yeah. Noble is nice. Put in the aggressive deck, obviously. Got the Doom Traveller. I think I'm going to take the Doom Traveller here. Well, actually, uh, I, could, I could even take the Stomp Noble. Hmm. Because we've got a brim, well, what's Brimstone Volley and Desperate Raving versus Urgent Exorcism and Big Griffin. And we've got Stompet Noble coming to be quite good. Hmm. Uh, um, I've picked, I've picked, I don't, we're not taking any blue cards. Um, we could take Geist Catcher's Warp, I guess. It's another beater. Hmm. It's a tough, tough pick. I think I'm gonna. I'm going to knock it down to either Stormcoat Noble or Guys Catcher's Rig. Um, we do have the, the Skies pretty well under wraps, and, but we've only got two real finishes. And this, this is not a bad finisher, so I think I'll go for Guys Catcher's Rig. Stormcoat Noble could have been worth money. I'm not sure, but I don't really care about that. Okay, so you know, this Forbidden Alchemy is really something we've been looking for with our two stitch strokes. Uh, Battleground Geist is actually really good. Um, I'm wondering if this would table, because obviously blue was, uh, was open for both ends. I'm wondering if one of these cards is more likely to table, because I'm obviously taking one of one of these two cards. Um, what works better now? We've got one spirit we've only got one spirit yeah. it's five cost this is something like this um, take my camera part um, we've got eleven creatures yeah I didn't notice that so I think we need to take this battleground guys I'm glad I noticed that because I thought it was too late so I think battleground guys is the go no blue cards alright so we can take an urgent, another urgent exorcism here. Um, I think that's probably the pick. It is just this pack is terrible. It's just, it's just nothing in this pack mm, that we would play, except for this maybe this urgent exorcism. Um, yeah, nothing to say. Urgent exorcism. Terrible pack. We need to talk about that player. Um, another memory journey. Not great. Um, we could take. I think we're going to take the one night scarecrow. That's all our flyers. Um, it might make us win in the air a little better. Um, yeah, there's really nothing else in this, but we're not really losing anything by taking it. So we're we're the defensive deck, so happy to take that. Um, yeah, special flyers just go to our deck. Uh, yeah, these last few packs have been pretty average. Oh, never mind. Um, Spare from Evil is okay on out of the sideboard, so I guess we're just going to grab that. Um, yeah, not much here either. Don't really have anything to sacrifice for this. Um, some Wild Spider might be annoying since we've got a few flyers. Uh, yeah, so we just, I think we just, I guess we just cut it. Yeah. These last packs have been pretty, pretty average for us. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, if we'd gone into red, this cultist would have been nice. Yeah. I guess we, got, we can take this lost in the mist. Yeah. Probably got enough playables now, so. Yeah, my best 
So, yeah, I think we'll just take what's done last. Okay, there's nothing on the floor I see here. Just get rid of that. Got it, I guess, is okay. This is something else on the splash. And we're going to splash the spring turn volume. So, yeah, take that. Yeah, well, selfless guitar is actually not too bad, even though we probably won't be putting in a wide at first, but our man is actually pretty good. So that, just get that guy. Yeah, so, pretty happy with this. We've got, we've got some good removal spells. And I'll just take that because Bob loves it. But sorry, Bob, not playing that. Maybe next time. But yeah, I think we're okay here. Our, our deck's nothing spectacular, but we've got some early early defense and zero threes and and yeah, zero fours. That's not bad. Not bad. Get that sideboard. A mm, couple of beaters. Mm, should be interesting. So here we go. First time I've drafted online. I'm always I've done lots of drafts. For, um, for real. So, and I've done fairly well in those, and so let's see how we go online. Always a little bit different. But I think we've made the right choices. I'm sure I'll get told one way or the other if I was right or was wrong. But, yeah, interesting. Alright, let's have a look what we've got here. Murder turns. What's in this? Program dice. Yeah, just putting out all the playables here, obviously. So much parchers. Such car. Everything. Yeah, I'm going to slash and bust up the wheel. Oh, we got it. We've got 20, 20 playables. Which isn't bad. That's all good. So we could probably oh sorry, we can put up our next to me. So let's just pull down our do twice. Next one's only that we are I don't know if I can upload it, but alright, so then 13 features. Yeah, um, so we need to put in probably a few more cards. I guess back to a fight on a Rook of Tetra, it would be pretty funny. But um, I don't think we need to be putting that in. I think we can probably play one Earth and Exorcism. Do we want to play this Desperate Ravens? That's the other question. Oh, how does that look? That looks absolutely terrible, actually. But never mind. We'll make the best of what we got. Alright. So, I think that's probably the best we can do here. And we've got the Kill for the Grave in the sideboard to go from evil. And another Urgent Exorcism. Mm, yeah, I don't think there's much else to say. We can't really. We've got one, two, three, four. Four white cards. What could we play? We could play this, 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 and this. Are these four green cards better than our four white cards? That could be a question. Um, Watch your speed is probably better than Village Bell Ringer. Some of the spiders are a little better. Hmm. We could. Yeah, we might, might just. Can we just drop the white all together and just play our green cards? Yeah, even though blue green is pretty average. Um. We can still splash the black. Yeah, it's still fine. Hmm. Alright, let's just have a bit of a look at the green instead of white. 
this can go to one, this can go there. And pull this down. So I guess we can double wing. We can probably get rid of that. And this means our creature can't up. We've got a lot of early stuff, so playing these these guys might be good. The extra beaters. Um, Alright, we might try the might try the white. I might try the green actually. Over the um over the white. It doesn't really offer us a great deal, and I think green offers us a little more. Alright, let's stick that in. That in. Need some land. Let's see this. 11, 2, and 2. I don't think we'll play. We'll play 1, 2, 3. About 4. That's 10, 14, 15, 16, 17. Are we going to do enough? We can use this. No, actually, we might go 9 and 5. A bit of a double cost there. Alright, alright. Okay, so that's my deck. I'm not overly um, wrapped with it, but who knows? Yeah, we might get there with some good play. So, we'll see you in round 1.